everyone again. <laughs> Welcome to my third Bobby vlog. Day five was a very special day, to be honest. Um, it happened quite a, a lot during that day because the day started very different than usual. I um, had actually fallen asleep very late during that night. I just couldn't fall asleep. And then when I finally fell asleep, I slept very deeply. At 7 a.m. there was an earthquake in Lombok, which isn't far away from Bali at all. It's just next to Bali. So, of course, you felt the earthquake in Bali as well, and also quite heavily, apparently because I didn't wake up. Everyone else woke up but me. So <laughs> when I then stood up that morning and went into the kitchen, everyone was like talking at the same time, like, did you, did you feel the earthquake? And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, I didn't even hear what they were saying. They were like, earthquake. And I was like, oh, earthquake. No, I haven't felt an earthquake. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, like somehow it would have been like a special experience to like really experience a like more heavy earthquake, but at the same time maybe you don't want to experience an earthquake. I mean it didn't really happen anything in Bali I think, but my friends told me like that the room was shaking quite heavily and you, that you could hear the windows shaking, the glass. And also my friends were super lucky. They had been to Lombok the week before because they had made this tour around Bali and outside Bali. So many people in Lombok died because of this earthquake and also there were several earthquakes after this as well um, which took place and we had already left Bali at that point but yeah we were all very lucky that we didn't experience the earthquake at the epicenter the day started a little weird <laughs> and a little shocking as well you I mean, you know that you're in an area where there are earthquakes, but you don't expect to experience one yourself. So we as a whole group decided to go to the most south point in Bali, where there is a big temple. I can insert the name of the temple because I don't remember it right now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Wow, it's mega schön. Hände Ich hab sie richtig. Ich habe noch nie Affen gern in meinem ganzen Leben. Zum Glück. Mutter ist agro. Das heißt, Mutter ist agro. And this temple has an amazing view of the ocean. Like, it's basically up on a tall cliff. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, the oh, valley! Holy god, come on! Oh my god, the valley! And you can see, like, down the beach and you see the whole ocean. Yeah, it's a beautiful view. Also, around there, there are a lot of monkeys as well.
but I actually don't think that there are like locals going to that temple for praying. I think it has become more of a tourist attraction, to be honest. We had seen this temple in view. We wanted a place to eat. So, and we wanted, there were no like really good places or restaurants near the temple. So, we took a taxi to the nearest beach basically. And um, it looked beautiful. We didn't find a restaurant directly at the beach. We were more like up on the hill and ate very yummy food, Indonesian food. And there was such a little cute girl um, in this restaurant. Uh. <laughs> Some of us girls left already because they wanted to go back to the villa. And me, Tiffany, and Yara stayed because we were like, oh, maybe we want to like see something else here. But then we realized there has been an earthquake this morning because we we had we finally had Wi-Fi in that restaurant, and we like told our parents that we were okay. Not that they would read the news in the yeah newspaper or hear them on television or something, and they hadn't heard anything from us or something like that. So we like texted them before they could read it because of the time difference they were still asleep in the morning. Yeah. And then they were like, or like my mom was like, where are you now? Like, don't go to the beach in case of a tsunami. And we were like, oh, <laughs> it's kind of stupid if you think about it. But also we didn't know that this earthquake had been this big actually. Yeah, mom came into the restaurant and saw the news and saw how bad actually the earthquake had been in Lombok, we like understood that it was bigger than we thought that it was. Yeah, so we thought that that probably happens all the time here, some small earthquakes. But yeah, we realized that it had been a big one in Lombok and we were like, maybe we shouldn't 
was like being directly at the beach after the earthquake. So we went back to the villa. I mean, there was no tsunami or anything, but it just didn't feel that nice, basically, or, or secure. Then we basically went grocery shopping. And by grocery shopping, I mean big mama grocery shopping. You know, for six people, enough food. That's kind of a lot. But yes, yeah, so that was the weird fifth day, basically, which had been good and bad. I hope you enjoyed my third Bali vlog. And I hope you're going to join me for my next Bali vlog. So, see you. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.